front door and window. Today we're going to walk you through programming your Genie and LiftMaster transmitters. Let's start with Genie. First off, you want to start by locating the Learn Code button on your operator. Normally, it's on the back panel of your operator. One variation of that is on the old screw drive operators. On those, the Learn Code button is on the front panel of the operator. Once you have located the Learn Code button, press and release that button. A red light next to the Learn Code button will begin to flash. At this point, press and release the button on your transmitter twice. On the first press of the transmitter, the flashing red light will go to solid red. The second press will turn the red light off. And pressing the transmitter the third time will cause your door to run. Now let's talk about LiftMaster transmitters. There are two basic styles of LiftMaster transmitters that we are going to discuss today. Billion Code and Security Plus. Either type is going to program the same way. First you want to start by locating and pressing the Smart button on the motor head. This will activate the LED light to come on. Then you are going to press and hold the button on the transmitter. In approximately 2-5 to five seconds, a light bulb on the motor head will turn off. Hit the button again and the door will move up or down. If you need to clear all your codes and start over and reprogram all your transmitters, further instructions are right next to the Learn button. Pressing and holding the Learn button for approximately 5-8 to eight seconds will cause the LED light to go out and erase all old codes. You will then have to reprogram all your transmitters and keyless entry. Keep in mind if you change the batteries in your transmitter, you shouldn't have to reprogram it. Now if you don't have a push program transmitter, you may have a dip switch transmitter. If that's the case, it's just a matter of locating the receiver, which is normally on the back of the motorhead. You will either have 9 or 12 dip switches. Now open up the transmitter and find the dip switches in it. Then it's simply a matter of matching the dip switches in the transmitter to those in the receiver. The next time you push your transmitter, your door should start working. If you can't find the receiver on the back of the motor head, it may be in a 4x6 inch plastic box mounted somewhere near the motor head. Normally they are mounted on the ceiling. Once you find the receiver, open it up so you can locate the dip switches inside of it. Now that you have your receiver and transmitter open, you'll want to match the dip switches in your transmitter to those in the receiver like we did earlier. Keep in mind the dip switch transmitter and receiver I showed you today were both Genie products. The same idea applies to LiftMaster as well. And now you know how to change your code in case one of your transmitters comes up missing. And if you're still unsure of how to program your transmitter, give Omaha Door and Window a call at 402 733 6440 and one of our qualified technicians will be more than happy to help you. For maintenance tips on your garage door and opener, see our garage door maintenance video. And remember, safety is the number one priority. Always have a qualified technician do any repairs or adjustments on your garage door. Thanks for trusting Omaha Door and Windows since 1959. Taking care of business.